Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 30th January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has held that when a son relinquishes their right to the self-acquired property of the father and the conduct is accompanied by a receipt of a consideration, the principle of estoppel will apply for the son and his successors. The court has directed the Madras High Court to take the necessary corrective measures in a case where the order uploaded on the website of the Madras High Court was found to be different from the order which was initially pronounced. The Supreme Court while hearing a PIL for enforcement of section 12 subclause 1 subclause C of the Right to Education Act has held that religion is important in our country only when it is relevant under the law otherwise for all purposes India is a secular country. The court has held that keeping in view the provisions as contained in order 41 rule 5 of the civil procedure code unless the appeal is listed and there is an interim order the mere filing of the appeal would not operate as a stay The Supreme Court has directed five defaulting states and union territories to upload information concerning mental health facilities in the online dashboard created by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment News from the High Courts starting with the Delhi High Court The Delhi High Court has granted bail to a 20 year old in a Pokso case after victim the wife of accused told the court that they were in a consensual relationship at the time of the alleged offence and is offering to stand as surety for him in case he is granted bail The High Court has directed the Delhi State Legal Services Authority to provide a roadmap for implementing its scheme for engaging paralegal volunteers in 50 police stations to help and assist in cases concerning missing children and offences against children. The High Court has directed the Delhi government to set up one-stop centers for women and children in every district in compliance of a Supreme Court decision in Nippon Saxena versus Union of India of 2018. News highlights from the Bombay High Court. The Bombay High Court has held that even if a party's right to appoint its nominee in arbitral tribunal is forfeited because it failed to exercise its right within the statutory period it would not render the court powerless to appoint an appropriate arbitral tribunal the high court while reducing the 4 day ban on liquor sale in various districts in maharashtra due to mlc graduate constituencies elections to just the day of the voting has held that a longer ban would violate the merchant's right to livelihood under article 21 of the constitution news highlights from the kerala high court The Kerala High Court while ordering for the implementation of the division bench order in state of Kerala versus Govindan has directed for the implementation of a uniform procedure to be followed while impleading the legal heirs of the deceased parties. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.